Hi, within this lecture, we're going to see how we can get every account information on the current database. And we're going to do that with using the information that we have gathered from the error message that we got previously. In that error message, remember, we have seen the table name was accounts and we know it. And you might think that what if we don't know the table name? And we're going to see how to work with that in the following lectures. But right now, suppose that we got a detailed error message and we know that the table name is accounts and we know the username is admin. We have used this in order to obtain admin username and password information in the previous lecture. Remember? Now I'm going to enhance this. I'm going to add some new features to this command and I'm going to use a command called union. Okay? So let me copy this line and paste it in the below because I'm going to change this and I want to keep this as a base. So right now I can do some changes and I'm going to add some more features as I said before. I'm going to say union in capital words in uppercase letters and I'm going to say select everything from accounts because we have learned that the table name was accounts previously. Now this union will run this right side and the left side of this command as well. So I'm going to have a space in here and after that I'm going to say union and in a URL it doesn't matter if you type it in uppercase or lowercase. So I'm going to just write select everything from accounts and hit enter. And as you can see I managed to retrieve every information on this database. So right now I see there is a username called Adrian, there is a username called John, Jeremy, Bryce and Samurai and some others as well. And we managed to retrieve this by using the keyword union and union again runs the left hand side of this command and the right side of this command as well at the same time simultaneously. So we managed to run the username is admin thing and the other stuff as well. And I believe we have to learn how to deal with cases that we don't see the accounts name, the table name, because in real life you might not get this detailed information as we got previously. And you have to dig deeper and you have to gather more information in order to have a successful SQL injection in that case. So we're going to stop here and within the next lecture we're going to see how to do that.